Sorry. My babes for reminding me, like I saw your message, I acknowledged your message and then my brain just, you know, like I said, strange <laughs> things are going to happen tonight, so I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I have started recording. For um, Rachel's benefit, please, um, will you just go back, Jess, and just co uh, cover the limiting beliefs part with her? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Right. Okay. So every single cell is the same. It has an open and it has a close. So you can think of it as a straight line. Okay. Now, we might say, uh-uh, they're different because there are different types of cells because of the types of objections that we face. Who knows what's an objection? Right answer, no. Something you don't agree with. Yeah. Okay. Something that you maybe don't agree with. So give me a practical example in our business. What would an objection sound like? Well, I had one. Yes. <laughs> um, um, I I sent the price of the lipstick to um or the power lips to one of the ladies and she like replied to me and she's like, Are you serious? Is that the price? <laughs> okay, so, so I had to explain to her. <laughs> so it costs too much. Wow, that's yes. expensive. Okay, so that's one objection. Okay, cool. What else? Um, I had a lady today tell me um, she bought the body galvanic from me in January when it wasn't yeah. special. Yeah. And last night she asked me, what is the body gel's price? So I sent it to her and then she replied this morning to say, oh, no, that's way too much. She's rather going to just buy some cellulite creams at Diskim and use that. So I actually haven't had time to reply to her yet to say that it's not going to work then. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, again, price. People are saying price. Yes. Okay, too expensive. What else? Um, does it last long? Um, one of my clients also asked me, how long does the um, AHA facial peel last? Okay. And is it worth the price and what is have you? Worth, is it yeah. is their value? Okay. Is their value? Yeah. What else? People, people that are, that you're inviting to the business. What are some of the objections you're getting? Don't have time. Don't have time. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Don't have time. What else? Don't have time. Um, they live in a small. They live in a small town, and they talk to everybody. <laughs> they have like two thousand friends on Facebook, and the next day you ask them, "Listen, did you market it? Did you, did you tell anybody?" And like, yo, I talk to every single one, and nobody's interested. I'm like yeah. two thousand people. You talk to two thousand yeah. people half a day. <laughs> I get that a lot. So they tell me they've spoken to everybody they know and no one wants to buy anything. So. Okay. Right. Interesting. <laughs> my town is too small. My circle is too small. I've spoken to everybody. Nobody, nobody loves me. Nobody loves me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to eat some wounds today. <laughs> okay. What else? Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, first have, I first have to ask my husband. I first have to ask my oh. husband's partner. I first have to, yeah. I, I get that a lot. The husband won. The husband mm. ticket. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, so if we had to put those objections all in the box, they all boil down to three things. The first is, but the, the, the overarching theme is trust. They either don't trust you, they don't trust the company, they don't trust the product or the business opportunity. It's one of those three things. And what the clever wolf of Wall Street identified is that you, your sales is a straight line and you see these little curves here, that's when somebody has an objection. So let's take the scenario of Let's take the price situation. Wow, those results are amazing. Please tell me more. That's your open. Okay, you post something on social media. They go, oh, that looks amazing. Tell me more about, tell me more and how much does it cost? Well, it's the polishing peel. It's the equivalent of microdermabrasion. It's amazing, blah, blah, blah. It costs so much. What? Is that the cost? 
are you serious? Is that the price? <laughs> okay. Now, as an amateur, we can go, yes, it is the price. And you are buying quality and blah, 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 blah. But what is the person actually telling us? That they don't trust in either you, the company, or the business or the opportunity or the products. So they don't see the value of the product. So they don't trust the products. Okay. So what can you do to handle that objection in a professional way to get them back onto the sales line? What can you do, guys? Do demos and do one-on-one -on -one with them. So I see you are in Benoni. Benoni is a small town. Let's hook up, babe. Let me show you how amazing this product is. Okay, but what if the person, if you're sitting in Benoni and the person's in Cape Town, what do you do? How do we handle objections? How do we build trust in the products? Give it to them at all for our Ah, ah. No. Show own results. Um, what about results showing before and after? Yes. These are my own results. This is a, one of my clients. This is somebody in my organization. And guess what, guys? Everybody on the 100% user group, they're in your organization. Hashtag just saying. Oh, look. Here is a testimonial from one of my clients who says it's the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, oh, let me quickly go put a message on the group. Anybody got a testimonial for Polish and Kill? Okay, right. What else can we do? Um, hi, man, it's Joe. Yep, I normally would tell them, if you're looking at the Polish and Peel, I say to them that they normally get 40 uses of. And if they go to a salon to do a, a peel, it costs them six, 700 rand for one. So our little tube costs 398 rand. You're getting 40 uses. It's a no-brainer. And, it well, and it works out to less than 16 rand a treatment. At 20 exactly. treatments. At 20 treatments. So exactly. Do you want to spend 16 rand or do you want to spend 700 rand and spend an hour in a salon and have to go back 20 times to get the same effect that you're going to get out of polish and peel. Exactly. Yep. Oh, 100%. We talked about this last night with the, the whiting tooth gel. I had a lady that complained it was too expensive. Mm -hmm. And then we were in clicks um, to buy some pain meds for the kids. And I saw a whitening kit. It only has seven uses and it's 390 rand. And, and like the two thousand last year, two, two months, and, <laughs> and I would rather say like exactly, babe, and and it mm. damages your enamel because it's got bleach and peroxide. No, it's going to be yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then if you go to a dentist, which is even worse, and you buy the professional whitening whitening kit, and okay, so here's a funny story, guys. Before my wedding, I was like, I'm gonna have white teeth, and I went and you know sold like the the good kidney. And bought the bloody <laughs> teeth whitening kit. I put it on one night. It burnt my gums. And this was like a week before my wedding. So I had long hair gums before my wow. wedding. It's horrific. Well, um, that was 6,000 rand. So, <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, I would rather buy that because my set, my front vineyard set cost me 5,500 rand. So my mouth is worth, and it's a second one because you need to replace it every 10 years. So my mouth is with, with about 10,000 rand today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got insurance for that? Hashtag just. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. So, 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 so the initial response, when somebody objects to you, what do we go? <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. And oh my gosh, they're going to be me. And oh my gosh, they're going to think I'm such a football. Like a terrible <laughs> I'm so sorry. But like, that's, that's what we become, right? It's like we, we seriously, like we introspect and we really make the movie in our head about what is going to play out. And the truth is, guys, professionally, sometimes you just got to take five seconds and you got to go, what is this person actually concerned about? Yeah. And how do you find out what they're actually concerned about if you're not sure? Mm. Awesome. Ask questions. Ah, <laughs> yes, you guys are so clever. 
right. Okay, so what kind of questions can you ask when somebody says, oh my gosh, is that the price? Well, I've read a book, Sell Well. I will actually post it on a group, on the WhatsApp group. And it um, says that you should um, ask about the budget. What is their budget? So you can usually work with that. Or you can say like, is it, let's say they don't, they're way beneath the budget. And you can let them know, know that most people pay this price. And you can just give a little bit of discount or the same price. Okay, so budget is definitely a way to go. It is quite a corporate approach. So just remember, we're talking to you and me. Okay? Okay. Just everybody right here, put up your hand. Who has a budget? Who really has a budget? Okay, now you like are amazing. But in reality, girls, when you go to Diskip, do you go, my budget is 50 rand for my whatever? Do you, do you end up spending 50 rand? Hashtag. No. Exactly. Okay. So, no. so Tash, that is, a, that is a really great um, suggestion. And I think it works really well in, when we're talking to, to like salons and that sort of stuff. And in some cases, yeah. you know that this person is a, a, a penny, penny counter, then absolutely that's a great conversation to have. But what about asking something like, what are you comparing it to? So your power lip story. Okay. What are you comparing it to? Oh, well, I can get a lipstick at this chem for 50 rand. Okay, my darling. Yes, you can. But will it stay on the whole day? Yes, it will. It's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> it might stay on for a few hours, but is it going to end up drying out your lips? And do you know that one lip stiffy of ours is going to last you like two months, three months, sometimes longer? Six months. Six months. I know, me too. I didn't want to say no, that. I'm, I'm yeah. going to be hygiene issues, but yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so, I've got a friend that uses her flower lips every day and it lasts six months. You see? I mean, months. so like the struggle is real, guys. Our products really do last a long time. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, so so a great question is to say what I, I, I hear your concern about price. What is it that you're comparing it to? And, and in most cases, people, because people don't understand the value of our products and why they're so amazing. So you've got you to establish that rapport. Let's take another scenario. Uh, somebody from who, who you've been talking to about the business. And I mean, we had a, a, a in our previous call here, Jess. I just don't have time. Yeah? What can we ask? What, where, where, what, what, what is their problem? What is their problem if they don't have time? Not that they don't have time. What is, what is the challenge? They don't know how to sell the product. They're too scared to speak to people. Maybe. Or that the, their why isn't clear enough. It's not strong that enough. They will yeah. make, make the time for what they want. So you've got to figure out what is their why. So, so I hear that you say you don't have time. What are you missing out on in life? Oh man, yes, I'm so busy at work. I, I, I don't have time for my kids. I spend two hours in traffic. I haven't even been able to have a weekend because you know, after work, I've got to sort out the family. No, 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 no. What is, what door does that open up? It's a pain point for being with the kids. Exactly. Exactly. 100%. I'm with the husband. I shouldn't forget about the husband. Okay, let's talk about that. I, I, I first need to talk to my husband. I'll get back to you. How do we deal I with that? I never know what to say to that because my husband even didn't know. My husband didn't even know I joined New Zealand. 
Five a week and <laughs> five visa. And days later, and he's like, what are you? What are you studying? I'm like, I'm a musician. Okay, when did this happen? I'm like, oh, last week. <laughs> Look, I mean, I think every relationship has its different dynamic. And, and some partners want to be involved. But what about asking them, what do you think your husband would like to know about the business? What is it so that, and, and why? Because you are wanting to understand what are the potential objections this person thinks the husband's going to have. Or can we, can we cross, cross cut that little circuit and say, I hear that you have to speak to your husband. Why don't we set up a call and the three of us can chat? Okay, so it's often, often in, in some cases, the husband is a key decision maker, but in other cases, it's just an excuse to get you off the line, to go next. And that's because they haven't yet formed trust in you, in the company, in the business and in the product. And if you're saying to them, oh, hold on a moment, like, so what, what, do, you, what do you think your, your uh, husband is going to be most interested in finding out about the business? Well, he's going to probably want to know how much money it's going to cost. What's that telling you? They don't yet understand the opportunity. So then you can fill in those gaps and bring them back onto the line. And at the end of it, you can go, so if you are able to go back to your husband and tell him this, that, that, and that, and if we set up a call tomorrow at 12 o'clock, do you think that this business is something you'd be interested in? Well, yeah, okay, that's, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds good. And most likely, they won't even talk to their husband until the next day, sign up. Okay, so guys, you see it all boils back down to the trust in you, the company, and the business opportunity or product. And with some of us that are doing social selling and and um, building teams of social media, this first part is so critically important, the you part, because half of these people don't know you from a bar of soap. Even if they've been your Facebook friend for five years, they actually don't know who you are. So what are you gonna do to build credibility and trust? Going well, I've learned, I've learned from, Fraser, from Fraser Brooks that you need to post value on your page, on your, on your profile. You need to open up and show people who you are, what you do. Not necessarily mm -hmm. just posting about company or product stuff, but something that people can connect with and enjoy watching. Yes. Cash, who's, done, who's, who's your upline? Um, it's Janine. <laughs> Janine, you've got yes. yourself another gem right there, girlfriend. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so absolutely. So, you know, first impressions last, guys. When last have you gone and done the 30 second test on your Facebook? I had to do that and I thought my Facebook was amazing. Oh my goodness. I had to make some changes. Woo! Right, just 30 seconds, go to your Facebook profile and scroll and see what posts have you been putting up there. Does it say anything about the business? Does it say anything about your products? Does it say anything about who you are as a human? Are you just sharing other people's quotes? Are you just like putting random inspirational quotes and whoops to Daisy? Yay, this person is motivational, but what is she going to do for me? Like, are you, are you sharing this amazing gift of an opportunity that we get to connect via the virtual world and like see each other and be with each other and do life together and cause we can, you know? Amanda. Yeah, boo. Yes. Would it be your personal, personal profile or your business profile? Both, That you need angel. to post on. Both. Both. 
definitely your personal profile, but you've got to do, you've got to do it in, you've got to be you, you've got to be real. So it's, it can't be fake. So again, you know, Dan always talks about the, if you can't, if you haven't made it, don't go to a guest store, pick up a guest handbag and go check what I just purchased. Cause that's a bunch of twaddle. You know, it's about sharing, sharing life with people. And so, um, you know, it might be that we're doing this call together. It might be that, you know, um, Hazel often talks about she would work her full-time job. She would get home. She would bath the kids, she'd make dinner, put her, her kids to bed. And then she would take a photo of her at her laptop and go, I am building my future. Like, yes, I'm working freaking hard, but I'm building my future watch this space and people were going wow okay this girl okay, like she's a dynamic go-getter because birds of a feather flock together what you put out there is what you're going to attract okay so go do the 30 second scroll on your personal and on your business page and go would i want to join the business underneath this person being yourself and if the answer is no, you need to go and tidy things up and start shifting things and changing things and put the best version of you out there. But in a sincere way, do not be fake. People can see that through that like a mile away. And people really don't appreciate the, yeah, the fakeness. All right. Any other scenarios that you guys want to run through in terms of objections before we talk about amateur and idiots? So I was about to say, I post mostly, okay, that's the only page I have for you, you know, my personal page. Yeah. And yeah, for the first time I had a live today, so. Woohoo! Good to me! <laughs> well done! Mostly on my Facebook pages we saw superficial makeup done handbag you know all looking good you even force the kids to smile if they don't want to <laughs> um, i had a clean face and everything and i was transparent um i did a close-up and showed the people my face most of my the people that are on my personal are people that have known me forever so they've known my problems with my skin yeah and the comments i had then was just phenomenal like why wow, your skin looks great what are you using and then we took the chat over to whatsapp so people appreciate you being just transparent absolutely. and not being superficial absolutely go 100 percent. i love it i love it i love it be you be authentic and it's okay that you you you're not all eloquent and you stuff things up Val's yeah, not on this call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her first live, guys, she did it with the mute button on. So she was talking away, blah, 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 Lenny's far, nobody could hear her. She still made sales. So, yeah. you know, it's okay. You don't have to get it. It's cool. Okay. All right. Um, so, then, um, amateur and idiots. So, I am guilty of this, as I'm sure many of us on this call are, is that because we're so scared of this objection, we're like, let's go into the friend zone. You know, like when you're dating somebody and then like you don't want to stuff it up, so you go into the friend zone. There's no turning mm -hmm. back after that, okay? So the person might say, yeah, the, it, it seems really, you know, maybe uh, I don't think I have a lot of time. Oh, Shane, no, I totally understand what you're saying. Oh, your kids look so beautiful. How old are they? Like you've just taken them off on another tangent instead of bringing them back onto the line. Or, or they've said no to you and, and you're like, okay, well, let's just be friends. And then we become such good friends that I'm going to be too scared. <laughs> Hi, you there? That was so weird, guys. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I was talking to myself and then like, I was talking, talking and I lost your face and I was like, this is weird. And then all of a sudden, we can all hear, hear each other, but you gone. That is so weird, huh? You see, I feel like it's maybe a sign. I'm just saying. That's like, what's going up on here? It's going, oh, no. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. Yamir. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, so we're talking about the friend zone. I'm not sure how much you guys heard. <laughs> Nothing. 
<laughs> yeah, friends don't. Okay, so we make friends and then we're too scared to, like, if they say no to us, then we're like, oh, gosh, feel for that. Instead of just saying, cool, let's cut it, no problem. Would you mind if I get back to you in six months' time and see where you're at? You're like, oh, Shane, man, how, your kids are so cute. Like, <laughs> love what you did with your hair last week, Tuesday. You know, no. No, guys, because then we get them we get them off this line here, and then it's way too difficult to bring them back onto the line, the purpose. We have a purpose for this conversation. Or, and guys, I've done this. Somebody, <laughs> okay, so it was a funny story. There was this girl. She had inquired about the business opportunity with me, and when she found it was new skin, she immediately said, um, no, absolutely not, because you guys test on animals. So what do I do? You don't know what your facts are. <laughs> you have this article. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you're, you're misinformed. I'm blocking you. <laughs> I did that, guys. It's so bad. I feel so bad. Like, <laughs> like I was an idiot. I was a proper idiot. I got so defensive because I was like, "You don't know what you're talking about." Instead of going, "My darling, like let me share that." Where did you find out that information? That's interesting. So where did you see that? You know, let's go back to the source. Not my sugar. Not so much. Look here. Look here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's a fine line, guys, of being a friend, being professional, and being a downright idiot. But all you need to remember is there are three things that you've got to establish trust in, and that's yourself, your company, your business opportunity, and your product. The reality is, the business opportunity and the product, there's nothing that competes. We know that. We, we know that. We believe it. But we need to find a way to communicate that to the, the person. And the best way to handle the objections is ask questions. There is no other company, and I've done my research, and yes, I am biased. I'm moving into idiot zone. But there is no other company that competes like our company. We're not a multi-level marketing company. We are part of the gig economy. No other company can say that, which is like unique and amazing. Okay. And, and then it also comes back to you. So like what picture are you putting out there about the way you talk to people, the way you are on social media, you know, check your posts. Do you have any negative posts out there? You know, are you sharing like hectic stuff about women abuse and stuff? Like, like I'm, guys, I'm all for liberation and supporting women and all that sort of thing. But is that what you want to attach to your profile? Okay, so it, it takes a little bit of a, a sprinkling, a little bit of an analysis paralysis and then sprinkling. Well, yeah. Fraser Brooks he has a sorry, Fraser Brooks he has like a thing you can do on your profile. He says you need to go through your profile and when you see you've posted something and you have no reactions or comments and likes, remove it. Exactly. So that when somebody joins your profile or goes into your profile to see what you're doing, all your posts are gonna have loads of reactions and comments. There's not one that has no reactions. So if you post something and nobody likes it or nobody comments it like in for a day, then you remove it. So then when somebody goes into your profile, it looks busy and people are following and they will like and comment automatically because everybody else is doing it. Hundred percent. It's such good feedback. Hundred percent. That mm. post didn't serve you, so why keep it there? Because you want to keep mm. it in your archives. Like, you know, let it go. Get rid of the, the bad and celebrate the good. Okay. Great. Any questions on the straight line effect when it comes to recruitment and uh, selling products? Speak now, forever hold your pieces. <laughs> Very good. All right, we're moving on. Okay, so the process is also always the same. There's an open. An open can be there is a post. Somebody goes, ah, that's interesting. There's an open. You're sitting next to somebody at a bra and you go, mm, my darling, 
beautiful hands. But I see shame. You got a little few dry flakes. Bring it here, darling. Here's my polish with you. I love polish with you. Hashtag just saying. Or like, oh, I just love this lipstick. Oh, you know, look amazing. That's my open. Okay. Or your open is that you're talking to somebody about. You've heard them say that they are financially strapped, things are going up, like they don't know which way to turn to make ends meet. There's an opening for you to say, what if I could next step invite you to a business briefing to listen to this business that I have, listen to information about this business that I have joined, which is really, I'm loving it. Again, you don't have to have arrived in order to to have a, a, a real conversation with somebody, guys. So there's the invitation. And then there's generally a presentation. And that presentation can be a video. On Dan and Hazel support group, they've got amazing videos. Dan just redid a, a six-minute overview video, video of the, the business opportunity. We have business briefings. Set up a three-way call with your upline. Blah, 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 blah. There's so many ways. Okay. So that's the presentation. Then once they've seen the business opportunity, you've got to follow up. You've got to say, so not, what did you think about it? I thought it was cock. Or like I didn't think anything. You cannot find, you know, say something like, what did you find the most interesting? Because interesting is positive. They've got to now really dig deep and you can see those who concentrated and those that didn't and they'll be able to connect dots with what's, what's um, connecting with them. You know, I, I thought the products looked interesting. Oh, okay, let's talk more about the products. Or I, it sounds like the compensation plan sounds too good to be true. That sounds interesting. Oh, there's a little objection. Okay, how do I handle that? So you've got to follow up. It's really, really important. With business presentations, guys, you got to do it within 24 hours. If you do it any later, that prospect goes cold. So within 24 hours, please follow up with those people who have attended any form of presentation. If it's somebody that is going to be listening to, watching a video, do you have any control over sending them a link and that they are going to watch the video? No. <laughs> of <course> not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Okay. You don't think so. Okay. How do you get back into the driving seat, Tash? So you've sent them a video. Ask them what? <laughs> ask, ask them, ask them if, um, they, you can call them, maybe give them two, two options. Like, can I find you at eight or can I find you at 10? That's absolutely a good technique. But even before that happens, how do we stay in the driving seat? First of all, do you get out of the driving seat before and, and then send them a video link? No, we stay in the driving seat. And so what we say is we say, before I send you the video link, do you think you would be able to watch it today? No, my schedule's too busy. Okay, when do you think you would be able to watch it? You haven't sent them the link yet. Okay, you still are mm -hmm. in control. You still have the, the magic wand, which is the video link. Well, I suppose I can probably watch it by tomorrow night. Okay, fantastic. So if I send you the video link now, would you be able to watch it by, let's say, 8 o'clock tomorrow night? Yeah, I think I'll be able to watch it by 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Great. So, could you and I chat at, say, 8.30 after you've watched the video link? It's only six minutes to see what questions you might have about the opportunity. What have you done three times? You've confirmed the time. So, when would you be able to watch it? confirm when they'd be able to watch it if they change the time and if they don't change the time confirm it and then confirm a follow-up you're in the driving seat and only once they say shana then you say here we go here's the video link 
to, and it's a mistake I have made so many times where I say, oh, you're interested in the business. Here's the video link. Oh, crap. <laughs> now what? <laughs> okay, it's a little bit off beat. Have you watched it? No, I've been too busy. Okay, no problem. Have you watched it? And eventually you become that person. Have you watched it? And eventually they're like the lock. Because this person is crazy. Okay, stalker. I sent the video link today without asking. <laughs> We've all been there, girl. We've all been there. I've been there yes. up until recently, so don't feel bad. I'm and, the, and I did ask her. And I did ask her here around by 7.30 because I sent it at 4 o'clock this afternoon. 7.30 I asked her, did you watch it? And she just replied. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. going to be one of those asking. <laughs> We've all been there, guys. Like, I get it. And it's because we're like, oh my gosh, somebody said yes to me. I've got to do this quickly. you got to stay in the driving seat, people. First gear. <laughs> got to happen. Okay. So, that's the follow-up process. Is confirm, confirm, confirm. Thank you. And then, when they have, they're on the call with you. And, and before you, you call them, you say, at 8 o'clock, you say, you send them a message and you say, hey, hey, I'm sure you're probably watching the video now. I'm looking so forward to our connected eight minutes. Just to be safe. Okay. Yes, yes. And you put it in your diary or you put a reminder or whatever. Like this business, you've got to be organized. And then you've got to close them. So how do we close them? How does it happen, people? Okay, so if they watch the video, you say, um, that was amazing, right? So you're ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first you've got to confirm that they... What they found interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You ready to get started? Nice. I like that. How else? Well, I normally say it's a no-brainer. It's a free startup. So. <laughs> okay, absolutely. So, so, guys, it often is about creating a compelling event. And so timing in this business is absolutely critical. Before you ladies joined, Nalini and I were chatting. And so she was presented the business opportunity, Jolene, how long ago? Like last year, August, September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. September. Like Joe and I both said, that Nalini, that one's a good yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> that one, we must bring it in. It's a good one. Yes, Nalini, you are a rock star, girlfriend. Okay, <laughs> Thank so, you. So, um, but it took her eight months to join, or however long, I think it's eight months to join the business. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and so timing is critical, but what Jolene and I were a little bit wet behind our ears is we didn't create a, a compelling <coughs> event for Nalini. Okay, so what is a compelling event? A three-way call. Mm -mm. It's <laughs> kind of like your follow-up or your kickstart. Compelling event is creating urgency. Yeah. So by now you know something about that person. You know that they've said to you, maybe I need an extra income. I, I need more time with my kids. I need, I need, I need, I need those products. They're amazing. <laughs> okay. You can create urgency by stepping into their shoes and saying, you know what? I remember you saying to me when we started this conversation that um, you really need an extra part-time income. What better time to start than now? Like Jolene says, it's risk-free, babes. So it's a no-brainer. Like you're not going to lose mm -hmm. anything out of this. And the sooner you start, the quicker you're earning money, which means the, the quicker you can start removing that heart attack mode from your, your pockets. Okay, so it's about creating a compelling event and then coming full circle and reminding them why they considered this business opportunity in the beginning. And if you don't yet know about the person, ask them questions, even in the closed phase. Don't be afraid of doing that. Saying, like, you know, what, what would an, ex an extra weekly income do for you? 
Like they'll straight out say, wow, that would be amazing. I can maybe keep up with all these bloody things that my child, I'm, guys, I'm, I'm not swearing, but my, sorry, my language is a little difficult <laughs> tonight. <laughs> and the accents are flying in all seven directions. Um, so, so like you want to, you want to bring it back to home in terms of how does it, how does it relate specifically to them? What is, what would, what would if, if I could, would, would you, what would, <laughs> when, if this, when would, so what, uh, what, what, why, what, when, how, how? <laughs> yeah. What time? Yes, exactly. Those those things like pretty good. School was a long time ago. Anyway, so so the process is the same. It's about just thinking about you. To think about yourselves, guys. Somebody was presenting this business opportunity to you, and you were being like you were being difficult. What? could they say to you that would put your mind at ease and get you to want to start now? Okay. Any questions around the process? Nope. Okay. Thanks, Jo. <laughs> I'm, <glad Jo's> <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're with us this week, girl. We were laughing at you last week and you didn't even... I know. Laugh. Janine told me. Janine told me. I was so <laughs> sick. I fell off to sleep. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, <laughs> so, I'm so impressed that you still left your Zoom on. Back. I'm so glad I wasn't snoring. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, so. awesome. Okay. All right. So, yeah, is various ways if you're doing social selling or uh, social prospecting or if you prospecting over whatsapp so it's it's all uh, even face to face yeah three different ways of doing your opening message the first is a direct approach a super direct approach and then there's an indirect approach so a direct approach could be something like I have a business opportunity for you to be open to finding out more. I am very scared of that. I'm going to be honest because it feels very spammy. Um, this is your business. You've got to find what works for you. For me, I first need to build rapport because for me, they need to build trust in me first if they don't know me yet. It's obviously different if you know the person. If they're part of your warm market, you can say, hey, man. You've been checking me out here yeah, on the social vibes and the social highways. I'm loving this business. Um, would you be open to having a look at it? Because I really think that you would be amazing at it. It's a direct approach. Okay? A super direct approach is, have you heard of New School? Thanks for accepting my friend request. Have you heard of New Skin? Um friend we haven't seen each other for ages i'm in this business have you heard of new skin okay that's a super direct approach you just you're getting straight down to the money honey and you're not beating around the bush okay an indirect approach and this is we were speaking about it as well earlier it's a great approach for people that intimidate you <laughs> and we've all got those people okay somebody who intimidates you if you are petrified of asking them to join the business, take the, the back door and say, you know, I know you like have always amazed me at how like incredibly connected you are. I know that this business is probably not for you because you're really like made or you're really doing so well. But do you know somebody who is equally dynamic, go-getter, hungry for success, keen on making money on weekly nine times out of ten person will turn around to you and say what's this all about and they want to find out more and the worst case the, the the first case scenario is that they would say you know what you're right it isn't for me but here's a few names of people that might be interested or the absolute worst case scenario is they would say not interested no you can't get money to work. no 
And then you go, oh, shame, no problem. Like, I totally understand. It's no problem. I've actually, please, uh, just excuse me. I've just got to quickly get onto a business briefing call because I'm very busy and important. <laughs> <laughs> and then that person, you ch and then you say to them, would you mind if I check in with you in the next six months? And most people say, yeah, sure, no problem. And then in your diary, guys, go in the next six months and put a little reminder to connect with that person because that shows true professionalism. And and here's also a little nasty secret. Like that has been the way where other people have been prospected by other new skin distributors and haven't joined. And I've said, no, totally, I get that you've heard about the business opportunity. No problem. Would you mind if I check in with you in six months? And truth nuts, I do in six months. And guess what? They join the business because I took the time to connect with him again. Okay, so it's good, right. Any questions on your opening message? No? Okay, on the invites. You're, break, you're breaking up again. <laughs> Am I breaking up? Or is it just me? <laughs> Am I breaking up? I'm I'm not breaking up with you guys. I love you. No. You're forever my heart. <laughs> sure. Okay, let's get a move on. <laughs> Call's going south. Guys, the invite we've spoken about. Confirm, 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 <laughs> confirm. And then once they've confirmed, get out. Don't go, oh, by the way, did you see the news today? Did How much homework are our kids getting? Don't go there, get out. Your job is now done. Follow up when you said, and then we learned this, like how embarrassing, but we, we learned this at, we learned, we learned this at conference. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to Messenger, and I think, I'm not sure how this works on Android, it should work on Android, but if you open any profile of a person on Messenger, there are four little dots, the four little dotties. I don't know if you can see the dots, the dotties, where's the dotties? Oh my gosh, there, those four dots. Okay, if you click on them four dots, oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay, it'll bring up a little menu item that says location, it says games, it says plans. You click on plans and then you can go and schedule your meeting that you said that you're gonna connect with them and Facebook does the rest. It sends them a reminder a couple of minutes before, then when it's time to do this. So guys, I know that there's a lot of chats, but what I am gonna be doing is I'm gonna create a Facebook group chat and I'm gonna use this functionality so that for Valria, we have a reminder. Okay, and Facebook will do it for us. Shame, she's not even on this call. She's gonna, she's gonna hate me. Val, you, when you're watching this replay, know that I love you, my friend. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, and then follow up. So, hey, what did you find was most interesting about the presentation, about the video that you watched about the galvanic demo, or what did you find the most interesting about my life? The fact that I couldn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you were just funny i don't know okay always keep it positive right then okay so uh we had a again a great kickoff call with jess's team and we spoke about the goals and jess looky here looky here this is all we did how much money do you need in the next 30 days what is your ideal income why do you need the money, honey? Because like, I want to spend time with my kids. I need that freedom. There's an emotional connection. Well, I actually, I like working. And then what I heard was like, I'd really like to take a two month holiday. <laughs> it was her emotional connection. Okay, you got to find the why they need the money. Make the emotional connection and then say, are you looking to recruit or sell or both? And if somebody says that they want to earn 50,000 Rand a month and they only want to sell products, as their trusted advisor, you should be saying to them, it's not that you can't achieve that because you absolutely can on this compensation plan. But the fact is, it's 
going to take you a lot longer to get there and it's going to maybe be a little bit more of a challenging road. Whereas if you're building a team and recruiting, you could get there faster and you've got to manage expectations of faster. Faster does not mean tomorrow or in the next month. Okay, but it's going to also be more sustainable. Then if they want to earn anything that's more than double digits, what's going to be the first step to get there? Click, click. <laughs> what do they need to do? Well, if you earn double digits, you need to recruit. Besides selling your products, so I would think I learned the hard way. Start to recruit as soon as possible. Okay, yeah, so that's going to be your action. But in terms of volumes, babes, what would you need to do to get to double digits? What's your first milestone? Hello, I. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> we have a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. L-O-I. Okay, so they got to do a thousand points. Yes. Sandra, you nearly there. Mm -hmm. Sandra, are you nearly there? We're going to get her there. Watch her. <laughs> I'm excited. Come on, Sandra. It's happening. It's happening. I like, I like it. I like it a lot. That's right. Okay. So, Ella, I would be your first step. And then we've got to just show them how easy it is to do Ella, I, and I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay. And then you need to ask them, what products do they want to get started with? You know how many noughts I've got in my back end because I haven't done this process properly. And here's the thing is if, you, if their first step is going to be LOI, you need to ask them what products they're going to get started off. And let's say even if it is that they buy a mud mask and a toothpaste and the total is 34 points, that's 34 points that already comes off their thousand, guys. Mm -hmm. So you say to them, now nah, that's, so you bought that, that already comes off your total. Now imagine if you go and teach 10 other people to do the same. That's 340 points. Oh my gosh. And then they teach 10 people to do the same. Oh my gosh. That's another 340. And before you know it, you are at LOI. And so for the girls that are on this call, I can see that I have not done this with you because maybe it could have gone faster. So I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, and then you need to put the ball in their court. And this is also a big mistake I made. Is I said, right, now you must. Here's your seven-day kickstart plan for social media. Oh, you must do this. No. You need to put the ball in their court and you need to ask them, so how do you think you're going to get that volume? And some people will say, I don't know, but I'll get it. And other people will say, I don't know, well, how can you do this business? And then you can say, well, this, these are the various ways you can do the business. You can pep a body, you can demo, you can da 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 da, -da go through all the different ways and then say, now, how are you going to go and get the volume? I think probably this way and that way. Okay, cool. Let me take you in some training relevant to that specific way. What support do you need from me? Not, I'm just going to give you, give you, give you because I ended up like WhatsApps for days per nail. You one of these people, hey, go. Cool. When I boarded you, my goodness, your phone was pinging for days <laughs> with stuff. And that just overwhelms people. Hey, Nao, didn't you feel like completely like, too but much. I survived. <laughs> and you survived. I know. Thank goodness for you, girl. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. So put the ball in their courts. You've got to empower them to figure out how they're going to do this business, but support them by showing them the right path, not doing it for them. Okay. Right. Then. This is exactly what uh, was my biggest takeaway from that weekend was that everybody is different. And so how I do the business and how Janine does the business and how Tess, Mika does the business and how Claire does the business, they are completely different. And so if we try and teach, treat everybody the same as how we are and how we've built the business, you're not going to get anywhere. 
you're going to scare people off. And guys, like I, I can't tell you, I've got heroes for days. It's the most infuriating thing. And they are wasted opportunities because I've gone through all the effort of signing them up. But I, I put everybody in the same box. And so, yeah, big lesson learned. You've got creative people who don't need to be told how to do things. They will figure it out and they want that freedom to explore and think out the box. And guys, there's so many ways that we haven't even touched on doing this business. Like I'm working on stuff I'll share with you sometimes. Too. Like, but creative people need that, that opportunity to like, you know, explore. Then you get emotional people. And, and like, I can also sometimes be that person and sometimes these people are pretty hard work and they want, they need a very deep connection to their why. And that's the thing that needs to keep them on point. And they are the people that generally most of the time need most work on mindset. So if you sense that this is an emotional person, you need to support them with mindset all the way. Okay. Then you get facts and figures people who are going to want to know how many grams of polyethanols are there in tea greens? You know, how, how much can I make if I make 5,000 volume as a brand representative? How, is they the facts and figures guys? And so you've just got to, you got to sh shove them with facts and figures and just appease all the little empty blocks. And then you've got systematic people who need checklists. So I'm not that person. Like my world is chaos. Like I would show you, it's a little scary. Oh my gosh. Like Janine and Jolene know. <laughs> like they like they come to my house and they're like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, move, move the paper, move the sit down. Yes, I'm just like you. I'm exactly like you. You know, like my whole theory is that um, a genius works in chaos and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> so some people need checklists, some people need diaries, some people, they need a program and you've got to allow them to have, to, to be that person. There are, each for each one of these four types of people, there is training, there is tools there's all sorts of things guys so you will be able to point them in the right direction depending on their personality and if you don't know what type of person they are you got to ask 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 until you kind of go okay this person they need to connect with their why deeply they they need to be left alone because they they are you know creatives and they want to go out and they want to figure out and they want to do it their way or they need a checklist so let me send them a checklist Okay. Happy days. Yes, guys, we're almost at the end. So stick with me. Right? This is this is the power hour. Okay, the power minute or bit. Okay. Right. So the power of duplication. Remember when I said the first milestone is ROI. So that is volumes of a, a thousand points right or if they just want to do this business as part-time and they're looking at sharing bonuses and retail profits you you can show them you can go out and sell to five people and you can make yourself x amount of profit on selling 10 toothpaste but can you imagine if you also taught 10 people that you know to do the same thing and then you start building up your business can you imagine where your profits and sharing bonuses and commissions are going to go okay power of duplication so look at this clever little thingy here if you are going to LOI so that's a thousand points in a month which is 250 GSP a week all right so Still, that might sound a bit scary. Per day, that's 34 GSV, not PSV, GSV. So that is one toothpaste, one mud mask, or it is three toothpastes and a bit, half a toothpaste, three and a half toothpastes a day. Not just for you, for your entire organization. So it's not just your sales, 
like everybody else in your organization. So if you're selling one toothpaste, the two people underneath you are selling one toothpaste a day and they've introduced two people each, you're going to be way over your 34 GSP on a daily basis. Do you start to see how easy it is actually to get to your LOI? And yeah, you'll get it. Look at yeah, pretty, pretty. Yes, it's going to happen. Now I'm in, like Jolene, I'm Indian now. I mean, I can't. I just read. <laughs> <laughs> Accent is okay. Out. I'm gonna school you. I'm gonna school you. <laughs> Please feel free. Help a sister out here. I simply okay. All right. And then you can say in month two, your organization has built up momentum. It's already built the momentum. So you continue to teach those people to recruit and to sell. Those people to recruit and to sell. And before you know, you've got to two thousand points. And that's only 68. So in total, your whole organization is selling seven toothpastes a day. And I mean, that's just toothpaste, guys. I mean, that's two yeah. mud masks. Three, two, three mud masks, I think. Three mud masks. Yeah. A day. Out of your entire organization. I have got, I think, 150 people on my back end. If every single person sold a toothpaste a day. Oh, my greatness. Do you know? Wow. And let's be honest, guys. How difficult is this? Like, really? Yeah. It's not. That, those challenges that Dan and Hazel have been putting out, you guys have been flipping annihilating them. And that, that was 20 toothpastes in the, over a weekend. Okay, I think you made it, eh, babe? No. You were not close. Me. You were close. Uh, I think I... Yeah. Ish. <laughs> oh, you did well. Okay, and that was you by yourself. And I imagine if Sanch, if um, Nicole, if everybody else in your organization did that. Like, wow. Okay, so, but we've got to have to teach you tomorrow. <laughs> cool. Okay, so, so guys, that's the, it's, we've, we've got to, we've got to empower our teams, we've got to show them that this thing isn't difficult, because when you write down your limiting beliefs, how many of you wrote down, I don't, I don't believe that, I, I didn't believe I could do it? I did. I did, yeah. Okay. And it's because, why? Because we thought it was too difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. And it's not. This business is simple. It is simple. It's only as difficult as you make it. It's, so it's, break it um, down and show them. And guys, look at, at us that are already brand representatives. We can get to 8,000 GSP very easily if we are empowering our downlines to do 34 a day. Everybody in your downline focuses on 34 a day and how they get there, whether it's themselves or their teams, you make it happen. And before you know it, you're sitting on 8,000 GSV. And guys, that's when we are earning some very decent moolah. This is also how you build a sustainable brand representative because this brand representative is going to go on to do much greater things and empower other people. And before you know, they're going to be moving up the leadership scales. Okay, yeah. so Dan has got amazing training videos on 90 day goals. Please go watch them guys. I've gone back and, and started going through them again. He, he gives us various ways to think about these 90 day goals and to help people go on a proper growth plan. It is a growth plan, but you're not saying today you have not done your five contacts and so therefore you are rubbish and because you didn't put a social media post, maybe the, that's not how the person is driven. Okay. Yeah. But you've got very definite measurables in place to say it's easy. You can do it. Right. Yes. And then he has another way of looking at it. So if you set yourself a volume of 4,000, you do 400 points in a month and you teach ten, nine other people to do the same. You've got 4,000 points. Mm -hmm. 
And so you can break it down even more. 130 points a month. A month, people. A month. Not a day. A month. And you get 30 other people. And that's not just within your first line. That can be second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line, sixth line. So it's about driving depth in your organization. And, and Dan showed us such a brilliant um, example. I'm probably not going to do him justice, but I'm going to try. Okay, so sorry, Dan. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, so what he did is, this was Dan, Dan the man, okay? He then went and recruited a person who recruited another person. Dan connected with this person over here and went, oh, this person is a gem. And started working with this person and helped this person to recruit some people. Okay. And then he went and he connected with this person over here. This person over here. L O I. Because of all the activity that was happening here. This person got a, a script for their life because this person had L O I. They got a notification to say, this person in your downline has LOI. And they were like, well, what is LOI? They didn't even know what LOI was. And Dan explained and said, listen, you need to get your, you start recruiting, buddy, because as soon as this person becomes a brand representative, their GSV is not going to contribute towards your GSV. Yes, you're going to climb in title, but uh, you, you need to start recruiting. So all of a sudden, this person started recruiting like a mad thing really getting pumped up and all that sort of thing in the business because they were like, well, if this person can do it, so can I. And the next thing, he had two brand representatives out of one line. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so we are encouraged to work with our down lines, especially yep. people that have not yet become brand representatives. Also, those that are already brand representatives. So if you're building depth in your organization, as soon, soon as you become an executive brand partner is the right title, you can very quickly skip titles where your earning is through the roof, like overnight, if you build depth in your lines already. Okay. Right. So, this is also a fantastic principle. If you recruit three people a month, only three people, and each one of those people, these are this has to be active. So sometimes you have to recruit 12 people to get three active people, or you, depending on what your hit rates are. Sometimes you have 100% hit rates. Sometimes you have 50% hit rates. So you, you do 100 points. Each one of those per, people do 100 points. You, what you've taught them, you help teach their downline. They then go, oh, this is easy. And they teach their downline. If you do this consistently over 12 months, you will earn 90,000 rand in commissions. Just with the power of three. 90,000 rand in commission, guys. I know most of your goals on this call. And I know that 90,000 rand is a nice amount of money. Then, if you... Just add another two people. So instead of do, recruiting three and teaching them to do consistently 100 points a month each, and they recruiting five, you will, after 12 months, earn just under a million rand commissions. Hashtag just saying. That is the power of duplication, guys. And in all honesty, right now, who on this call cannot recruit three people and help them to achieve 100 points worth of sales in a month? And then teach them to recruit three people. Like, is that unachievable? No, if you work hard. Three people. It's less than one a week. You've already one done two, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> in the yep. last 24 hours <laughs> exactly girl you're already like two thirds of the way it's amazing and the one's in UK so that's and amazing. she's got her global leg 
I mean, she is a global partner now. Woohoo! She's an international <laughs> business partner. And Sam reminds me as well. Sam, she's coming. She's found someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, well done. Look at yeah. you, your friend. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yes, guys, let's go abroad. I want to go and do presentations overseas. Let's do it. Sash and I are going to go with our, our little Louis Vuitton bags and we're going to go do like all these conferences. Hey, Sash. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's very cool. Okay, so guys, that is the power of duplication. And obviously, this, this picture gets bigger and bigger and bigger over the 12 months. But just to show you, that's all we're teaching. And, and so if, if by the 25th of the month, you've only recruited two people and they're both doing 100 points and, and they, they're doing what you're doing, you then need to do whatever it takes to get that third person. So it means sometimes that like at 11.45, <laughs> you're still messaging people and you're still making it happen, guys. That's if you want to earn this type of money. Okay. So, is this business difficult? Nope. No. No. Not at all. No. Okay. How many of us are going to be millionaires in the next 12 months? Me. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is another way it. of doing it. And, and oh, I, I know Janine absolutely loved this model because it made a lot of sense for her because she could actually visualize how she can start switching this on and she's switching it on in a big way. So if you go, <laughs> I am a distributor. I'm a brand affiliate. I, it's the power of So I get myself 10 customers. Each customer places an order of 50 points, 50 points being a tea green, a city tea green, a mud mask, and a toothpaste. Okay? That's the first month. My total volume will be 500 points. The next month, I recruit one brand affiliate. I still get my customers to place their orders of 50, and I teach that person. And, and often that person may have been a customer because they've experienced the product, they love the product, and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to start telling my friends how amazing this is. And you're like, well, why don't you do it and earn money at the same time? And so then your total volume is a 1,000. And so you keep going, just adding one new distributor, teaching them to do 10, the power of 10, with 50 PSV or GSV volume. And before you know it, your volumes are sitting at over a million and you've earned 921,000 rand in commission in month 12. And that's not cumulative. That is in month 12, you will earn 921,000 rand. Are you happy with that? Are you happy with that? Great, great. Me too. I'm, I'm excited about that. It's happening. It's happening. I see Sanchez and, and Janine also smiling. Hey, come <laughs> No, absolutely. It's happening. It's happening for all 100 of us. 100%. 100%. So, guys, these are, these are models. They are theories. Yes, not every single person that you recruit is going to have 10 customers who are going to buy 50 PSV. Okay? Sometimes you have to recruit two two people with five customers and they some do more and some do less. Like we get that. But what we're trying to show you is the power of duplication. And so you've got to see which duplication model works best for you. There are so many ways. These are, these are only four. But can you see how this business can be like an insane game changer? And it can, it can, it's not hard, it's yeah. So, quickly, out of interest, which model appeals to you most, Claire? Uh, sorry, Ms. Which model appeals to you the most? Mm. Okay, we'll come back to you. Nalini. <laughs> which um, model appeals I think to you? The recruit three. Yeah. Um, 
and the hundred point hundred points per month, and then add one person, one new person after that. So, and guys, a hundred points is a beauty box. Yes. Yeah. You know, and then they which got is out of stock, by the way. Yes, it'll come back in stock next week, guys. I know I'm equally a little bit frustrated, but it's fine. It's fine. We find work, we find workarounds. We say we create our own beauty box. Create your own beauty box with a soul solutions and a mud yes. mask and a contouring lips, and that's what I did this week. It works. It works. Okay, so hundred percent cool. So that's your recruit three, Jolene. Which model appeals to you the most? Uh, the last one, man. Okay, the power of 10. Nice. Yep. I like it. Oh, that makes sense. You're also strong with your sales side of things as well, which is good. Nice. Okay. Also, man, you know the, the, um, that breakdown I sent you on Sunday? Yes. That could possibly help all of us. Would you mind so, if I shared it? No, absolutely. Please. Because it, it helps everyone get the, Monthly, weekly, daily, yeah. and which one that we need to sell. 100%. If you want to concentrate on the one thing, so it helps the girls, like with my team, which are amazing, it helped them get more focused. And I think they took more value out of it because they said they don't have to be overwhelmed. So then that way, and, we, and then if we work with the power of 10, then it's just going to be so much easier to get them to where they need to go. So guys, what Jolene has done is she's gone and put like a little bit of a, a, a schedule or model together to say, so if you sell 10 tea greens, these would be your points. And how many of how many of each do you need to sell to get to say 2,000 points? And so it's, it's the Excel spreadsheet so you can manipulate it as you like to get to your volumes. And that also gives you a really nice road ahead to say, I need to sell so many of these, so many of those, so many of this to get the profits and the volumes and the, all that sort of stuff. So she's been amazing and gone and put that together. And thank you so much that we can share it with the team. That's awesome. Mm. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Right. And then daily habits. Stars. Oh, sorry. I haven't been through anybody. Everybody. Sorry. Uh, Jess, which model works for you? Um, I quite like this one. Yeah. This one. The power of 10. Cool. Okay. And Nina, I know you like the power of 10. So that's good. And Neo? I don't know yet, but I assume, uh, let's see. For the best result, maybe the power of 10 as well. Power of 10. Cool. Pammy? Which models? Resonating. I I think I think the power of ten, and yeah. also alongside like power of three with the recruiting. Why not? Double whammy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Sanch. Yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing. I'd like to do maybe a combination of the two. Hybrid. I like it. I like it. Cool. Clary Bell, have you decided, babes? I have. I think I'm also going to go for the combination. I think a power of 10 and a bit of in between as well. I think I think I can do that. You can do it. You can. You I can. will. I don't know. No, I will do it. That's <laughs> it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Timmy, babes, which model? Uh, I think I'll start off with the recruit three and mm -hmm. then, yeah. I mean, trial cool. and error and go to the power of 10. <laughs> no error, just, just trial. I love trial, it. Trial, and ex yeah, trial and exceed. There we <laughs> yes, go. There we go. <laughs> and Tash? I'm um, going to start with the three and then build it up to the 10 and make it a combination like the other thing. Cool. Nice, guys. Man, I'm excited for you. We're going to have lots of millionaires in South Africa, guys. Watch the space. Let's make, yeah, guys, let's make South Africa the country that has got the most new skin millionaires. Hey? Oh, yeah. And out of one organization. Okay. Oh, Everybody. Yeah. It's happening, happening. Yeah. Right. Okay. So these are great models, but you have to have a meeting with yourself. And if, if, if you don't want people to think you're cray cray, don't do it in public. Listen, then. So you need to say, <laughs> what is it that you need to, what do you need to do every single day to get that? So if you need to recruit three people, 
in a month and get them activated doing 100 points and teach them to recruit three people and teach those people to recruit three people. What do you have to do every single day? I knew you can answer that, but I'm hoping you're going to start talking to some people. Okay? How many new conversations mm. you need to, to have? How many presentations should be watched? How many business briefings are you inviting people to and how many actual attendees have attended? What platforms are you using daily and weekly? Platforms are Instagram, Shopify, social media, uh, Facebook, your profile, your Facebook group, your first Facebook page. Uh, it can be an Instagram business page. It can be a demo. It can be a one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. It can be a pamper party. It can be a product showcase. It can be oh, Google AdWords. It can be Twitter. It can be LinkedIn. It can be so many things. Okay. How many networking events do you need to attend? Like so many, so many platforms. So how many, which platforms are you choosing for your business? How often are you engaging in those platforms daily, weekly, some are monthly? What is your social media strategy? We are all social media sellers. We have some presence on social media. What, what is our strategy? And some of our strategy might just be like, step it up a notch. And then, how many sales do you need to be doing a day? So, even if it's just, I need to have sold one thing, even if it's a two thing, one thing a day. And if I haven't done that, I can't go to bed until I've sold that one thing. So, if it means that I'm busy talking to people in America who are still awake, then that's what I need to do. Okay, so what are your daily habits? And again, guys, only you can be accountable to this. If you struggle with accountability, then please, please, please reach out and we will either start an accountability group or we'll plug you into one of the existing ones. And it's a great way just for you to kind of have that end of day close out to say, this is what I've done for the day. Yes, I've achieved my goals or no, I haven't. And at the end of the day, you are only responsible for yourself. Okay. And then team habits. So everybody on this call is wanting to earn double digits. You've got, to, you've got to build strong teams. So kudos to Jess, kudos to Joe, kudos to Claire, kudos to all of you guys who are setting up training calls, connect with your uplines, um, team presentations, getting your team together and saying, guys, let's game plan, let's figure this out together. Having a group chat. Guys, there's nothing, and there's a lot of groups. And, and so the only reason I decided to start, which is now called LEAP, is because I needed a way that I could communicate just with my organization. And there's nothing stopping you from doing the same. If you need to create a group ch chat just with your organization, where you need to talk about stuff that's relevant for your organization, do it. I'm not going to be offended. Sharice isn't going to be offended. Like, we want you guys to succeed. If it's fine being just part of the two WhatsApp groups, then that's also fine. You've got to find what works for your business. And then launch people. How many people do you need to launch on a weekly basis? Bringing them, signing them up is only part of the, the battle one. The next point is you've got to launch them. And guys, what I'm learning fast and hard is launching isn't just saying, okay, yeah, I've tagged you in a bunch of videos. Sometimes it means I'm gonna help you with your first post, or I'm gonna you join my authentic beauty product page so that you can see some of my posts. Still shameless for a week, and then I'm booting you out, and then you're on your own. Sometimes you need to hold a person's hand if they are that type of person. If they are creative and they want to do their business their way, don't do that. You will stifle them. Okay. Right. So, that is the end of the presentation. Those are the golden nuggets. Um, uh, um, um, uh, Janine, have yes. a list anything critical. Pam, Nao, did I miss any critical that you feel that you need to share with the guys? 
No, I think you've covered no. everything. Let's quickly look here, mommy's my notes. That's it. No, I think you've covered everything. Alrighty. Cool beans. Mm. Sorry, Claire. Mm -hmm. I've lost trouble for you. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, guys, this, I don't know about you, but like, I am freaking so excited. I don't know if you cottoned on to that about this business. <laughs> for the, for, not for the first time. Like, I, I keep being reminded how simple this business is. The only overcomplication. Only complication in this business is me. I overcomplicate things and I need to be remind myself constantly to keep things simple. This business is simple. It can be easy. I'm the person who makes it simple. So go back to basics. Decide how you want to do the business and then just do it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Like Nike, just do it. And if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Okay. So. On that note, it is eight minutes past 10. Love you guys madly. <laughs> this has been an awesome call. It's been so fun. I've loved it. Like, let's go make some money. We're going to be like the most millionaires in South Africa out of one organization. Boo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Love you guys. Have a good evening. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.